हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू जीके टुडे आई एम पलक खंडेलवाल टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग द टॉप एमसीक्यू व्हिच आर रिलेटेड टू द बैंकिंग इकोनॉमी एंड फाइनेंस करंट अफेयर्स ऑफ 2nd ऑफ जुलाई 2022 सो दी सीरीज इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर ऑल बैंकिंग एग्जाम एस्पिरेंट सो what is the peak capacity of india's largest floating solar power project recently commissioned in the kerala by tata power solar system limited so the correct answer of this question is option d so recently the tata power solar system limited a wholly owned subsidiary of tata power has accomplished a remarkable feat by commissioning india's largest floating solar power project in kerala on a 350 acre water body backwater area having an installed capacity of 101.6 megawatt peak okay so now move to the next question who was recently appointed to lead the india dap resolution company so the correct answer of this question is option d that is avinash kulkarni so recently avinash kulkarni was selected to head the india dap resolution company recently okay so now move to the next question Which state has issued orders for the implementation of MEDISEP medical insurance scheme for government employees and pensioners So the correct answer of this question is option D that is Kerala So recently Kerala state government has issued orders regarding the implementation of a medical insurance named MEDISEP scheme for government employees and pensioners and the deduction of premium from the salary of june 2022 and the pension of july 2022 okay so now move to the next question according to a nasso com report artificial intelligence has the potential to add usd 500 billion to gdp by which of the following years so the correct answer of this question is option b that is 2025 So according to a report by NASS com artificial intelligence can add USD 500 billion to GDP by 2025 so basically NASS com has introduced AI adoption index in a bid to access trends of AI adoption in India okay so now move to the next question name the recently deceased father of Indian public sector undertaking So the correct answer of given question is option D that is Dr V Krishnan Murthy So Dr V Krishnan Murthy former chairman of public sector undertaking such as Bharat Heavy Electronic Limited also known as Bail Steel Authority of India also known as Steel and Maruti Udyog now Maruti Suzuki pass away okay so now move to the next question Star Health has signed a distribution agreement with which of the following banks for its health insurance products So the correct answer of this question is option A that is IDFC Bank So the Star Health and Ally insurance company have signed an agreement with IDFC First Bank for the distribution of its health insurance products Okay so now move to the next question Which of the following actors has been named as pokerbazi.coms brand ambassador so the correct answer of this question is option d that is shahid kapoor so recently pokerbazi.com a poker platform appointed actor shahid kapoor as its brand ambassador okay so now move to the next question recently which of the following institution received permission from the finance minister to issue a letter of comfort so the correct answer of this question is option d that is state owned ndfc So in a recent meeting the finance ministry has permitted state owned NBFC to issue a letter of comfort to banks for infra projects okay so now move to the next question what is the india's estimated gdp between financial year 2024 and financial year 2027 according to the fintech report so the correct answer of this question is option b that is 7% So as per the report non banking financial institution shows good progress in credit growth and a decrease in asset quality so previously fintech has also revised india's bbb sorevian rating to stable for negative in june 2022 so basically the gross domestic product 
also known as GDP was restrained by 8.7% in financial year 2022 after contracting by 6.6% in financial year 2021. So it has also projected that medium term growth potential of around 7% between financial year 2024 and financial year 2027. Okay, so now move to the next question. Which of the following nation experienced the highest rate of inflation according to a Moody's investor report? So the correct answer of this question is option B that is Turkey. So as per credit rating agency Moody's Investor Service Bank in India, Saudi Arabia and South Africa would post larger increase in margins in financial year 2023. So the main reason behind the rising inflation rate is supply constraint increase in the price of commodities and currency pressures. So the rating agency focus is on bank in the 10 G20 emerging markets that is in Argentina, Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, Mexico, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Africa and Turkey. So among the 10 G20 emerging markets, Turkey has been facing the steepest inflation which hit 73% in May 2022 followed by 61% for Argentina. Okay?